Why aren't there any god dang lights in this room? Oh, oh my god, that's bright. You're baking me alive. Jeez, turn those off. Turn those off. Whoever's back there, turn those off. Turn those off, I said. Oh. Hello, America. My name is Absolute Garbage. That's the name my mother actually gave me, birth mother. Absolute Garbage. My name is actually Absolute Garbage. You look it up. Uh, absolute Garbage. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the notes here to see what we're learning about today. Uh, no. Absolutely not. These are trash. No, 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 no. Oh, okay, okay. The Enigma Code. The Enigma Coding Machine. Uh, that thing invented in World War II is pretty great. It's invented by the Germans. The Germans are pretty cool. Um, they make really reliable stuff like Volkswagen and all that great stuff. Except uh, the only problem with the Enigma Machine it was invented by the Germans. And the Germans pretty much suck. They're also Nazis, so they pretty much suck. That's everything that you need to know about the Enigma Machine. Let's go ahead and take a look at the board here. It's a basic, it's a decryption device. It's an encryption device, not a decryption device. I don't know what the f I just said. An encryption device. Uh, you push a letter on this big tray. Is this in shot? You push the letter on a big tray and it, pu it outputs a letter there, if that makes sense. Um, and it goes through a bunch of circuits inside these things called rotors. Um, there are three rotors in the Enigma machine. And they each have 26 positions. 26 times 26 times 26. That's 17,576 possible combinations. That's pretty insane. Um, actually, it's more than that because they pick it out of a box of five. I'm an idiot. Okay, so what I was trying to say when I said they picked them out of a box of five was that at the beginning of every day, the three rotors they pick out of the box of five are the ones they use. So it's a probability chance of three rotors out of five. All the possible combinations is three times four times five. 60 possible combinations for that, plus the 17,576 possible combinations for the 26 times 26 times 26 possible numbers on the, each of the rotors. That's what I was trying to say. But this dumb idiot didn't even clarify that and just kept rambling. Um, so you have, like, a bunch of combinations after that. But the real... The real cool thing about the Enigma machine is the plug board, if you can see right there, the plug board. The plug board is this little thing at the bottom that has these wires that connect into the letters. Um, basically, if you push a button, it outputs a letter, then it's going to go through the plug board and submit a different letter, if that makes sense. Um, with the plug board, um, that's an equation. There's an algorithm for the plug board uh, to calculate the probability of you finding all the possible combinations, it's 26 factorial divided by 6 factorial times 10 factorial times 10 to the, or times 2 to the power 10, uh, which gives you a total of uh, 158 quintillion, 982 quadrillion, 555 trillion, 217 million, 826 million, 360,000 flat possible combinations for the Enigma machine, which means it's basically impossible to just guess a random letter. Um, so yeah, that's how it works. Let's go ahead. Uh, we need a guest on this show. We need to we need to bring the the entertainment into the room. Let's go ahead and uh, invite in our guest. Uh, actually, uh, not uh, held against his will, man over there. Let's go ahead and bring in our guest. Come on, bring it on the show. Come on, come on, come on. Right, welcome to you. Let's uh, let's. Uh, uh, yeah, sit down, sit down, sorry. Uh, wow, it, uh, why the long face? Uh, first of all, first and foremost, can you exp uh, tell the audience that you're here by your own free will and uh, that no one forced you to commit this action? Wait, hold on. You need to take that bandana off because, uh, you know, you probably can't talk with that. It's like rats. I mean, you were in the basement, so. Uh, uh, answer the question. Uh, can, can you can you tell the audience that you were here by your own free will? I'm scared to say no. Close enough. That's that's about what we wanted. Um, the Enigma machine. That's what's on the topic of today. Uh, we were wondering if you had anything to bring to us. Uh, any uh, special facts that the studio execs wanted you to know? I'm 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 just a coder. I don't really work with 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 encryption like encryption like that. I'm not a military coder. I code for. Microsoft. Okay, that's great. Did you know the the name of code had 158 quintillion something uh, com possible combinations for the machine? 
You're probably wondering how the machine, uh, 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 how people sent the messages to each other. And they had a chart. They had a chart with the, the, the rotor combinations on them. And And when the when the they would send these charts out every day to these uh, po these uh, German soldiers, and the charts would tell them what rotor combination to put into their thing, and that's how they figured it out. That's how they figured out that the messages how to decrypt them. Yes, um, uh, it's time for the Enigma code tip of the day. The tip of the day for today is. The Enigma machine could not make a letter become itself. If you punched a letter in the thing, it would never come out as the same letter. This is extremely useful for decrypting the Enigma code messages because um, at the end of every message, all the German uh, soldiers obviously wrote Heil Hitler. And, uh, well, it comes quite clearly if Heil Hitler does not match any of the letters in the thing, then uh, that must be the string at the end of the message. Um, it was proven true, and that's how they kind of decrypted that part of uh, the Enigma machine. Now back to our regularly scheduled program. I just need a clue on how to solve the Enigma code! You're a guest on the show. You're being paid to sit here. Do you think you might want to help us explain? <laughs> This is the outro. Thanks for watching. Uh, here are all my cited sources. I definitely did my research very thoroughly to understand every single thing there is about the Enigma Code. I totally didn't just uh, throw this together at last minute. Uh, 